Hello, in this video we will demonstrate the second part of this uh, tutorial uh, of the SysML gas turbine parametric model. And the second part will be to replace one of the components, uh, one of the logical components here. We have uh, uh, turbine, uh, is expander, shaft, uh, axle compressor, uh, swirl burner, and um, uh, to take one of them and import FMU instead. So this FMU, functional mockup unit, is part of the uh, other model, uh, which can be one of the more than 100 tools exported, uh, more detailed, uh, more higher fidelity model, or analytical model, right? So uh, higher fidelity, also analytical model, which is executable, and uh, it can be exported and uh, he imported using the standard. So this model will execute uh, in the context of this uh, system. And uh, the only uh, kind of uh, requirement here is that uh, we would uh, have same uh, inputs and outputs uh, uh, through the, some converter, uh, converter or directly connecting those properties. So how that process works, I will demonstrate in this, uh, this uh, uh, sample. So we'll take the FMU from Dimola. This is really just demonstration of the principle. Here we see test bench, right? It's a black box when we export to, to FMU. So how to export to FMU, you go here, simulation, you, you can run it. Then you go here to translate, export to FMU, specify the properties like our simulation using uh, code uh, uh, version 2 and 64 bits if it is Windows 64 bits and export and you'll get the FMU file. So pretty much that file. So I will import FMU by taking uh, it from here and dropping on the block. I will attach it. I will unselect the properties which I want, don't want to see. Uh, I will uh, import those properties as a value properties. And also I will map to existing properties in order that uh, I would keep existing connections and I would not need to reconnect anything. So this is amazingly simple to reuse the existing uh, uh, in, uh, connections as, uh, and uh, just get new data to the, uh, to the architecture and execute it. So I map those, those are not needed. And here I get it inherited. So let me lay out. And here we see this it got inherited. You see FMU, it redefines some properties. And as a result of that, uh, we can uh, see here that now I can, uh, see that turbine, original turbine connects to the hot fluid. Some properties comes here like pressure and uh, temperature and uh, we get out properties like work and uh, and uh, pressure and temperature again, you know, uh, work is connected in another diagram. So I don't need to care in the, about those connections. I do, will not do any mistake uh, by reconnecting anything here because it works out of the box. Those connections happen automatically reused because we redefine the original properties like uh, pressure in and time uh, temperature in by the new FMU prop. So now I will ex uh, execute the model. So I will take this one and uh, run simulation. Simulation is running and I will replace original turbine with the FMU. So I will go here because I didn't specify any kind of configuration before. So I need to do this now, remove, add FMU here. And now I have results. So if I will change something like for example, compressor ratio and turbine inlet temperature, you see those are updated here. Values get updated. So the model works as it was working before, just now with the different uh, fidelity model, analytical model coming from another tool in the context of the SysML model. So we get that right fidelity as a result of the analysis uh, and we connect it uh, through the amazingly simple standard FMU, which passes the properties and executes this in native environment. Uh, also what we can do it even uh, better here, we can go to the, instances so simulation configuration uh, trade studies uh, instances here and we can replace uh, so let me rerun it with original so you see it works with original configuration 
and let me add additional column this will be um, expander turbine i can now update existing instances or i could create new ones right uh, actually before doing this i want to copy that data because that is input for the configuration let me remove them and add FMU. Let me start by this one. FMU. And uh, I will replace those values here. Copy, paste, and now I can execute this model and it runs with FMU and produces results and validates. Some data got overwritten here. We need to check that, but uh, in any case, it gives the result uh, of alternative configurations. As you can see here, we can configure through many FMUs, those configurations, and all the components can be configured here. So this is demonstration of the execution of the parametric gas turbine model in the detailed design uh, of the uh, loop uh, of the FMU model uh, from the Daimola.